Hey everyone, welcome to Soap Trend. We hope that everybody is doing well. We have some exciting news to share with you all in today's video. In this video, we are going to find out which Hallmark movies have stood the test of time and have remained fan favorites. So if you're looking for a comforting TV movie to watch, you're in the right place. Here are the top 5 most popular ranked Hallmark movies. Do watch this video till the end to know everything. In the first place, we have Love Comes Softly. One of Hallmark's most successful film franchise is the Love Comes Softly series. So it's hardly surprising that the original film has one of the highest ratings of any Hallmark film on Rotten Tomatoes with an 87% audience score. This 2003 film stars Katherine Heigl and Dale Metcalf as a couple who marry out of necessity in the prairies of America in the 19th century. The film is based on a book by Janet Oak. They explained in an interview that the story was based on the true story of her own ancestors, who had to marry in order to survive. As the film's director Michael Landon Jr. explained in an interview with Christian Answers, the movie has a strong Christian undercurrent, which meant it wasn't easy to get off the ground. I took 10 years to get Love Comes Softly, done because everybody thought it was too soft, he said. But you know, I've always been somewhat outspoken in my faith. His film has something of a soul, and I think people can smell a fake. Luckily, he preserved and made the film that he envisioned. And based on its enduring popularity, we think it's safe to say he made all the right choices. In the second place, we have the movie Signed, Sealed, Delivered Home Again. Signed, Sealed, Delivered Home Again is part of the popular series that follows the post devils, a group of postal workers who attempt to re-deliver old lost mail. In Home Again, the group discovers an ancient face and uncovers an exciting mystery. It's an old-fashioned, charming film that instantly stole the hearts of Hallmark fans. No wonder it has a rating of 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. The great thing about this film is that it's part of a great series of films, and according to some, the film just keeps getting better and better. Right after Home Again, you can watch the follow-up film, Signed, Sealed, Delivered to the Altar. Actress Christine Booth said in an interview about the film. This script is, I think, the best writer Martha Williamson has ever written. Just the way that post story and the letter story, the way that it all works together. Apparently, she cried every time she read the script. Sounds like this whole series is worth watching. Then there is the movie Ace of the Garden. The 2011 Hallmark film Ace of the Garden tells the charming story of a big city man named Brian who impulsively moves to an old house in the country. Things get a little paranormal when he finds out that he can see the spirit of the woman Nora, who lived in the same house 50 years ago. It seems this summer spooky love story was a hit. The film has a 77% ratings on Rotten Tomatoes. If you're a romantic person, this film will not disappoint, actor Rob Estes, who plays Brian, explained in an interview. We can see each other and hear each other and try to get an understanding of each other, but we can't touch. Actress Sarah Maninen, who plays Nora, added, I think the audience will like the love story and the fact that the story is about two people who have this great friendship and they learn something from each other and take that with them and use it in their lives. Well, we are sold. On fourth, we have the Watsons go to Birmingham. You might not expect Hallmark to make films with a political or social justice focus, but the Watsons go to Birmingham is just that. This film follows the Watson family in 1963 on a trip to Alabama, where they inadvertently become a key force in the civil rights movement. Clearly, this film isn't just another sappy movie from Hallmark, so we're hardly surprised that it has a 76% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. Producer Nikki Silver said in the film's featurette, 
It's a great story and there are images in the film that you just don't see today. While well, this film is definitely a heartwarming story about a family, it also offers viewers some real educational content too. As one review on The Hollywood Reporter noted, the film is perfect viewing for young people as it gently encourages difficult but important conversations about the history of the civil rights movement in America. Sounds like this isn't just one of Hallmark's best movies, it's also one of its most important. And last but not the least, we have the movie The Lost Valentine. While most Hallmark TV movies star actors who are somewhat familiar, a few of them do have Hollywood stars in the mix. For instance, the 2011 film The Lost Valentine stars none other than Betty White and Jennifer Love Hewitt. That alone is enough to warrant its 76% rating on Rotten Tomatoes. The movie follows White as a war widow who goes back to her local train station each year on the same day in the hopes that her missing husband will return from the war. Of course, by now, the pilgrimage is purely symbolic. Hewitt plays a young reporter talks with telling her story. Of course, things take a romantic turn when the reporter begins to develop feelings for the widow's grandson. If you enjoy a good love story, Hewitt's storyline will probably delight you too. So this much for today's video. We hope you liked it. We will deliver more news on Hallmark Channel and movies as it comes in. So don't forget to stop by. Thank you for checking this video out. We will see each other very soon with another video. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel for new videos every day. If you have anything to say, do let us know in the comment section below. We'll make sure to reply to your comments.